Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night, as all three great houses managed to maintain their hold on their respective regions. KOTT News were on the scene all night, starting in Monarch's Bluff with the reigning Monarchs. Congratulations on your victory here in Monarch's Bluff, holding them off yet again. They were able to take two points, but that looks like it was calculated at the 10-minute mark. Would you care to take us through what was going on out there? Yeah, absolutely. That was calculated, John. Uh, you know what? On paper, their roster looked really, really strong. Um, I definitely thought they'd give us a little bit more of a fight tonight, but like I said to you before, context, we're the best at defense, so it was uh, business as usual for us tonight. Well, do you guys have anything coming up that you might want to tell the citizens of a tournament about? Uh, I mean, we're going to run it back against uh, JDB's Kitchen here in Windsward. I believe that we're the ones who have the deck there after these uh, invasions. And uh, we're just really excited to get uh, on the map more. We've been kind of playing it slow, taking our time. But uh, I really believe that we're the strongest company on the server. I, I don't think it's even close. Um, I think uh, in due time, you'll see us reign supreme. Later in Cutlass Keys, KOTT News caught up with an outcast representative to discuss their outcome. Congratulations on your victory out there today, holding down the fort for an entire 30 minutes. What do you think about the crew of Emotional Damage? Oh yeah, dude, Emotional Damage, bro. Was uh, <laughs> yeah, they were they were a competitive group. We knew what we were heading into going into this war. We thought uh, we were gonna have a nice, fun time out there in the lands of CK, and we did. We had it. We had a good time. So yeah, we're here to have a good time, and then by all means, of uh, we we did, we did. Was there anybody out there tonight who really outshined themselves? Yeah, I just want to highlight uh, Panda Uchiha. He was uh, by far one of the best um, best teammates like anyone could ever ask for, no doubt. As the night wound down, KOTT News crews caught up with Dodgers leadership to go over their grades. Congratulations on your victory here in Brightwood, managing to maintain the fort for the entire 30 minutes. Would you care to take us through how it went out there, my friend? Uh, yeah, John, we threw a little bit on those outside points. Would have loved to hold those for a little bit longer. We'll work on it. We'll run it back. Then we just kind of held down the fort. You know, got a little scary there at one point, but we managed to pull it back together and uh, push them back out. So in your successful defense of the Hamlet tonight, were you able to improve your letter grade at all? John, we did. We are now C-. Uh, we're working our way up. I think we're passing now. You know, Cs get degrees. But uh, yeah, we're, we're shooting for at least a C+. Plus. Was there anybody out there who really outperformed themselves tonight? John, I got to give it to our uh, Bob the Builders out there. They repaired many, many gates. Our kill squad did a fantastic job. Uh, everybody just, you know, did their thing. We got a couple things we need to work on, but all in all, it was great. Okay, and uh, would you mind satisfying this curiosity? What's the deal with this little four-inch man standing on your shoulders? Oh, that guy? Mm, I don't know. He's just kind of the Brightwood, you know, the guy that hangs around Brightwood. The devil in my ear. Turning to the weather, and it looks like the sun is going to take a couple laps around to turn them today. This unusual weather phenomenon will cause a 30% increase in corruption invasions later tonight. Four more submissions for Simulated Fantasy Combat Resolution brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. First up, the Marauders of Iron Reavers assault the Covenant forces of Error.pxp. For control of the always uncontrollable Restless Shore. Iron Reavers return to the scene and attempt to secure land on the island yet again, this time by running up the mud-covered hill to challenge the kings. The zealots of error.pxp have positioned themselves at the top of the hill and have prepared their defenses for a long fight in the Misty Sea Spray. Later, the syndicate members of pharmaceuticals attack the Covenant forces of outcasts. For control of the arid desert region, of Brimstone Sands. Pharmaceuticals are showing up everywhere around the island these days, and who can blame them? With so much variety in combat tactics and strengths, each outing is enjoyable. Outcast forces have expanded their empire to three regions, each one with its own unique battleground. But will the experience along the coast translate to success in the dunes? Meanwhile, the Marauders of Thrust Damage assail the Syndicate members of Soju Gang for control of First Light and the flow of the spice. Thrust damage forces making the unusual move of double declaring themselves for two offensive fights tonight. But with 50 slots available to mercenarial forces, maybe they can get it done. The reigning spice lords of the island are heavily dependent on the abundant hyssop and spice of the region, 
and they're not going to let their alchemical studies be stymied by pirates. In the nightcap, the Marauders of Thrust Damage challenge the champs of Strawberry for their championship title and the right to rule over Everfall. In the second fight of the night for Thrust Damage, this scrappy fighter and previous great house will have to overcome the champs in the midst of their Neverfall run if they hope to succeed. With the win tonight, the current reigning heavyweight champions of Eternum will increase their Neverfall streak to seven moving them into a tie for fourth place on the all-time Neverfall list with the Censored. Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.